Mark, CLC is a great alternative to adult learning for Charlatans. Where did the idea come from? When I was living in Rhode Island, uh, there was a community education platform there. And subsequently, when I moved to Washington, D.C., there was one there. Uh, when I moved to uh, Charlotte uh, as a builder in 2003, the urge came, I thought I wanted to find a class to take. And the only place I had to go was your typical brick and mortar places. So I decided that at some point in time, I was going to start Carolina Learning Connection. Um, so the business model or the model of community education, lifelong learning, and adult education just stuck with me. And um, I'm just excited to, uh, to be the first in Charlotte to do it. What makes Carolina Learning Connection different from brick and mortar classrooms? I think the chief difference is, is that we don't um, require a lot of uh, cumbersome registration, um, application, student IDs, passes, and, and, and all that kind of stuff. It's a very easy way for, uh, for adults to look for a class that suits them. They point, they click, they register, and they're in. Who teaches the classes? Well, what's, what's unique about community education and continuing education uh, is, is that the teachers don't have to be necessarily degreed. They're not required to have uh, a bunch of letters at the end of their name to prove their viability as a teacher. In fact, more times than not, our teachers are teaching an avocation, something that they love themselves as an avocation, and they're teaching other people, whether it's stained glass, pottery, woodworking, uh, something along those lines. They're Where's subject matter experts. Where are the classes held? Um, well, you know, the. It, Charlotte has a lot of different places to uh, to teach classes. We offer classes right here at our office in our in our um, conference rooms, which are complete with projectors, you know, large screen TVs, HD TVs, and things like that. All the media stuff necessary to be able to um, conduct a, a formal class. But more times than not, our classes are taught off premises, like at studios for for the stained glass or the yoga studio for some of the Tai Chi and the, and the Qi Gung class we've gone, at, at local kitchens uh, where we're teaching our cooking classes and, and some odd places that we might have our wine tasting. So it's, again, not restricted to the rigidity of a brick and mortar institution. Why would someone attend a class at CLC as opposed to CPCC? Good question, I've, asked, I've been asked that a lot. I think the fundamental difference is, is that CPCC is limited in just certain, in different locations, but they serve an absolute purpose in Charlotte because it's, a, it's, a, uh, it's an opportunity for people to um, take classes outside, not necessarily adult enrichment, uh, but more, you know, there's also young people there that are taking classes that are eventually leading them to be able to matriculate to a larger, you know, four-year university. So CPC serves its purpose well. From the adult education, uh, adult, um, you know, enrichment uh, platform, um, they also do a great job as well. But they're very limited in terms of being able to add and offer new courses rapidly as they become available. Uh, where Carolina Learning Connection can offer something that if I have 10 students that decide they want to take a class in a specific area, I can make that happen in relatively short order. When are the classes held? Well, because uh, most of our adult students are uh, working and their, their free time is, is typically at night and on weekends, that's when we offer our classes. You'll find that most of our classes happen between 6.30, 6 o'clock in the evening on a weekday, uh, all the way up till 9 or 9.30. And then also on the weekends, you'll have, we'll have classes either in the morning on Saturdays, in the afternoon on Saturdays, or in some cases, all day on Saturday, depending on the, uh, on the complexity of the class. Who is your typical student? Well, you know, I, I don't think there's a, a typical student other than to say that uh, any, any adult that is seeking to enhance themselves personally, professionally, uh, whether it's a craft, whether it's uh, some type of personal fulfillment, whether it's Tai Chi, 
or even something along the business uh, acumen, starting a new business. There's really uh, no typical student. Any adult that wants to be better, that wants to grow, learn, and connect with other like-minded uh, adults, they're a student. So anybody watching this, as long as you're over 18, come and take a class.